2020 induction ceremony of the National Junior Honor Society for West Scranton Intermediate School. We are meeting for the purpose of inducting 78 new members into the West Scranton Intermediate Chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. This is our 39th induction since we received our charter in the fall of 1981. I take this opportunity to congratulate each and every student and their families who I know are justifiably proud. The National Junior Honor Society was established in 1929. It was the hope at that time to create an organization that would recognize academic achievement while also developing the ideals essential to the citizens in a democracy. The ideals of scholarship, service, leadership, and character are as relevant today as they were when established in 1929. The National Junior Honor Society has established a reputation of excellence among educators throughout this country. Therefore, membership is both an honor and an obligation. To be eligible for consideration, a student must first have a high scholastic average. In addition to scholarship, each of the inductees completed 10 hours of community service and received two teacher recommendations. The purpose of this society is to promote the five ideals of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. Our aim is to encourage others to aspire to scholarly habits, develop qualities of citizenship, enlist in worthy service, lead in those things that will advance the welfare of our school, and gain qualities of character. You will see that I'm going to light a candle. This candle this candle symbolizes the eternal light of learning. Five unlit candles representing the five characteristics of the National Junior Honor Society blanket. Gold represents scholarship, red, service, purple, leadership, green, character, and blue represents citizenship. The five students of the class of 2020 with the highest scholastic averages will each address one of the society's characteristics. I am honored to not only be a member of the National Junior Honor Society, but also to be able to share a speech highlighting the remarkable virtue of scholarship. Scholarship is a commitment to learning. Of course, classrooms come to mind when students hear the word scholarship. These are the places where they've learned and thrived their whole lives. School, after all, is the first step to a successful life. It takes dedication and determination and can sometimes be very stressful, but it's ultimately worth it. Your education will lead you far in life, as well as open up different opportunities. As we go through our school years, our teachers and principals are there to guide us and help us understand our paths in life. Our teachers have taught us how to analyze books and solve complicated math problems, but they have also taught us to be kind to one another and learn from our mistakes. All of the studying and tests and hard work in school will pay off during high school and all throughout life. Scholarship is about comprehending how beneficial a cultivated mind can be. Although education is a vital part of scholarship, scholarship is also made up of life experiences. Every event that teaches you something molds you into who you are and brings you closer to your goals and dreams. Scholarship is having the knowledge to use every failure and every success in your life to your advantage and seeing the value in understanding how things work. Scholarship is the appreciation of opportunities in life, no matter how difficult they may seem. Right now is a very trying time in everyone's life. The coronavirus has taken away our regular routines and made us cherish the days we spent in school and hung out with friends. However, it has given us new things to learn about, such as finding unique ways to communicate with each other or participating in new hobbies or activities. This is just one example of how important it is to utilize scholarship as we grow, so that we will always be willing to discover new things. Sometimes, we tend to forget that scholarship is with us all throughout our lives. After all, no one ever truly stops learning. To make it into the National Junior Honor Society, we are all required to show proof of 10 hours of community service. But what exactly is service? To me, service is doing something for someone out of the kindness of your heart, therefore expecting nothing in return. As Anne Frank once said, no one has ever become poor by giving. 
The dictionary defines service as the action of helping someone. Just being a compassionate and kind person can be a service to someone else, even someone you haven't met yet. What you must remember is that anyone can make a difference. By smiling at the person who sits alone, reaching out to the lonely, or helping the elderly, you are serving your community. Serving someone should make you feel good about yourself, even if you receive no recognition for your actions. No matter how small your act has been, I can promise that it has changed the world for at least one person. The National Junior Honor Society states that service is the willingness to work without monetary compensation, volunteering your time and ability to the creation of a better tomorrow. You are not paid or rewarded for your work, but those who care for you will recognize what you have done. As Muhammad Ali once said, service is the rent we pay for our room here on earth. It is something that is needed in our society now more than ever. In a time when everything seems uncertain, it is important that we do our best to help and to take care of each other to listen to those who love us, and to work for the greater good. After all, without the kindness, without the joy, without the love that service brings, where would our world be today? When I first came to West Scranton Intermediate, I didn't know the importance of leadership. I didn't really even know the traits that were included in leadership. But during my time here, I had many great teachers to help teach me about these traits and many others. For example, leaders are resourceful, dependable, and have a positive attitude. I also learned that you don't have to be a leader to have the qualities of leadership. Everyday leadership comes in many forms. When you think about it, everyday life is just a series of events that we experience, many of which we have to react to and find solutions to. Being resourceful is then a very useful trait. If we can solve problems with ease, then we can all reach our goals no matter how lofty they may seem. Dependability is also very important. No matter what kind of job someone has, dependability is always a big plus. Your future bosses, fellow employees, and even clients will feel at ease when they can depend on you to get the job done. In the case of positive attitude, nearly everyone enjoys being around positive people. Let's imagine you're an employee at, let's say, an office job. And let's say your boss is really only about the work. They're just constantly telling you to finish the paperwork. You gotta get it in before the deadline. On the other hand, if your boss was more positive, they would in turn be more motivational. Just by having a positive outlook, they can make even the most daunting tasks seem a little simpler. A positive boss can just make you feel proud of what you do. Now what if you were the boss? Would you rather be a completely serious boss or a motivational boss that makes others feel good? If you were the boss, you would really need to put your leading attributes into full effect. Plus, no matter which position, everyone can benefit from leadership. So whether you're a leader, a follower, or somewhere in between, I hope I have inspired you to show leadership and be your best self. I'm Celia Milaniani. A strong character is vital for everyone to have. Some qualities of a strong character are honesty, integrity, loyalty, and accountability. Honesty means to me that a person would never make someone think for a second that they would not be trustworthy. Honesty is crucial to have in your character because by being trusted with important information, it shows how you can always be informed. Integrity is another great quality you have. Integrity means that the person sets impeccable standards for themselves, and it relates back to maintaining honesty. Loyalty is a necessity because it is remaining supportive during any circumstances. Lastly, accountability is to be reliable, which means being on time and doing things without being asked to do so. Being a well-rounded person is another aspect of having a strong character. A well-rounded person means they can balance school while being active in the community, like extracurricular activities, and playing multiple sports. Volunteering is part of being active in the community. Another part of character is making good decisions, even in tough situations. Having a strong character has allowed me to excel in school along with being an athlete. I hope my peers take away from this speech that they should let their characters act as a guide through life's challenges. Thank you. Citizenship. Citizenship is vital to the strength of our country. It requires effort and commitment. Without it, there would be a lack of democracy. In the words of former President George W. Bush, as young Americans, you have an important responsibility, which is to become good citizens. It is the willingness of each person to participate responsibly in the affairs that govern America. 
We, the West Scranton Intermediate School's 8th grade class of 2020, have a duty and obligation to be good citizens. After all, our community will only be as healthy and strong as we are individually. Citizenship can be shown in your compassion and empathy to your friends and neighbors by respecting others' property, upholding the rights of all those living in our community, and serving the common good. We need to take responsibility for our actions and words. We need to follow rules and set examples of good behavior, and we can do this by always being tr honest and trustworthy. By simply remembering to always be kind and polite, we can change the world. On a more global scale, citizenship can be shown by being a diligent, hard worker and contributing to society through volunteerism, activism, and putting your words to action by voting. There are many ways, both large and small, to enrich your community. Always keep your eyes open for opportunities to step in to help where you can. Lastly, good citizenship involves staying informed about the world around us and protecting our precious environment and resources for the future. This will be crucial for our community to thrive. Thank you. Hello, National Junior Honor Society inductees. Today, we celebrate you and your impressive academic achievements. I am honored to be your assistant principal every day, but I'm especially honored today. You have worked so hard to achieve this goal, and I'm very proud of each and every one of you. First, I would like to congratulate not only you, but your families as well. It is because of their love, support, and guidance that you are succeeding. Accomplishing this feat is not easy. It requires a great deal of dedication and determination to excel in your studies. You have shown unwavering character, commitment to scholarship, dedication to service, and the development of leadership. In citizenship, you have impacted the culture and climate at West Granton Intermediate in countless ways. You have inspired younger students, and because of this, you are a true example of what it means to be an innovator. And now it is my privilege to introduce to you the 2020 National Junior Honor Society candidate.
Nelson Mandela said it best when he said, it always seems impossible until it is done. You have just accomplished a task many are unable to do. I hope that you will always continue to chase the impossible and never give up on your dreams. You are a deserving group of students who are destined for great success. Congratulations and best of luck on your future endeavors. I will now turn it over to our principal, Mrs. Boyce. Normally, normally, this is where I would ask all of our candidates to stand and recite the honor pledge after me. But this year has been anything but normal. However, I am going to recite it for you in hopes that you do repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of the National Junior Honor Society, to which I have been elected, striving in every way, by word and deed, to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. Usually, the National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony is my favorite event of the year. It is our opportunity to celebrate academic achievement, and that is truly what West Granton Intermediate is all about. Students often get sidetracked in middle school by a number of things, but the young men and women who have been honored today are truly demonstrating their understanding of the importance of academic success. As I mentioned, this year has been very different, and I think I probably learned a lot more than you have. As you begin your high school careers, the one thing you will always need to understand is that you need to go with the flow. A lot of things are truly not in our control. You will need to work with others who may not see things the way you do or who are stubborn and refuse to even try. How you handle these situations will be a result of your dignity, tolerance, and character. Secondly, you will need to always understand that being a strong leader means you have to ask questions. I am sure you have had teachers tell you not to be afraid to ask questions and that the person sitting next to you probably has the same question. Asking questions leads to learning. Do not be afraid to ask questions. The only dumb question is the one unasked. Finally, and probably the most important lesson I have learned this year is to always be kind. We witnessed many situations this year where we simply needed to be kind to others. We needed to welcome Scranton High School when they suffered from numerous threats to their school. We needed to be kind to our fellow Scranton School District students and staff members when their school needed to close. We had several students who experienced loss due to fires and we are currently experiencing a pandemic like we have never experienced before. If we are not kind to each other, we cannot endure what is being thrown at us. Never assume you know what someone is going through. It will only hurt you in the end. I am extremely proud of all of our candidates. Your success is a testament to your parents and grandparents as well. I am blessed to be a part of this community where I get to work with outstanding teachers and staff, especially Mrs. Donnellan, who has been such an important part of this induction. I am lucky to have such a strong administrative partner, Mrs. Shannon Rucker, and I appreciate being surrounded by quality students every day. I can only hope that you take what you have learned from West Granton Intermediate and apply it to your experiences in your prospective high schools. I also hope that when you are inducted into your honor society in high school, you think back and remember with fondness your eighth grade induction ceremony. Congratulations to you all, and thank you for watching. Thank you.